All right, now on the front of her pant, do you want some wrinkles to go across here? Right, right in here? Okay, so add another layer. All righty. I like wrinkles. <laughs> I'm going to bring this back to my 33. Yes. Okay. So I might bring this lower than a 33. Let's see. <coughs> All right. Or actually, what we could do is just this. We'll find that wrinkle. While I'm here, I'm going to bring my opacity down on that. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to find the other wrinkle. It's right here. And I'm just going to duplicate that layer. Bring it down. I'm going to resize it to 100 and bring it back up. Okay? And that'll put some wrinkles on the front. And then, okay, add a layer. Because I had a layer and I don't know what I did with it. And those, you might want to bring the opacity down on these. You can, if, if they're too in your face, you can bring your, where'd it go? I got all these different layers. Okay, there. You can always bring your your opacity down on it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here I'm supposed to be all professional. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So that it isn't quite as dark. All right. Now I'm going to go to one of these top layers. I'm not going to add another layer because I did it twice already. All right, and under her butt, I'm going to start about here. I'm just going to make a little curve, and then I'm going to duplicate that, move it, get my black, bucket fill it, click the top one, move it down, click the top one, and merge it down, and then smudge. I don't want to smudge way over here, so you just be careful how far that goes over. And this one, I'm going to push it and make it skinnier. I'm just going to try to push those colors together a little bit, okay? Now, um, and you might want to make it smaller. Just a little. Let's try 200 on this one. Let's see. Yeah, that might be. Hmm. I'm remembering. I'm remembering how the other one went. So maybe even smaller than that, how it just went all the way over. Let's try 175. I don't want it to go way over into the side of her leg. Okay, that looks like it's, it's about the size of her butt. So, okay, I'm going to blur this. And then get my um, blue, my really, really dark, almost black blue. Bring my brush up, put it on overlay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring down my opacity so that it's um, very, very subtle. Duplicate that and put it underneath it because I don't want these wrinkles here to be all that noticeable just a little bit they're gonna go under her butt and I'm gonna merge that and duplicate it and transform and flip it and I'm gonna take this one and move it over to under her butt on this side now because you have to um, kinda guess where it goes you can we can always do this. We can take this. Not well. That was the line. Okay. You can always take the line, go underneath the wrinkle, go over here and see if it's underneath the wrinkle, and it is. 
All right, and that's just an easy way to gauge if you got it in the right spot. I'm trying to eyeball it to just see. I want to see if it's too dark. And we can also see what those other wrinkles looked like on the front. So the other wrinkles are barely there, and then these ones are just under her butt, okay? Okay, now, because I forgot, we're going to add a layer, and what I'm going to do is over here where I thought her knee was, and I'll look and see, and that may be, I'm going to get keep that dark color, that dark blue color, but I'm going to put it back on normal and make my brush small, and um, about right here. I'm just going to add a couple of lines and then I'm going to get my light blue color and where I thought her knee was right in here make my brush just a little bit bigger and just make a little dot okay and then I'm going to duplicate that and flip it and merge it down and now I'm going to blur but not a lot let me see this will be her knees and you don't want it to be that bright so take it down a little bit okay so now we're going to add another layer and on the back of her knee we're going to get our white and our black back and make it this our white okay so on the back of her knee make our brush littler okay I'm just gonna hold my shift and make a little line and maybe another little line and they don't have to be the same size and then over here I'm gonna make an arc and another one and then you can make you know look like that kind of and we're going to duplicate that make this black and bucket fill those and these ones you want them to be really skinny and really subtle okay so I'm just gonna do that so what we're gonna do is zoom it up and I'm gonna try to do these as subtle as I can because they're kinda close together try to keep them small okay hopefully they're small still okay I'm not gonna blur them up to a three I'm gonna blur them to a one and then go back to my dark blue color and overlay one two three one two three I'm going to take this way way down I just want it to be a slight suggestion of a wrinkle and then I'm going to duplicate it and transform it and see if those are on her knees hopefully they're somewhere around her knees Okay, the, the back one needs to go up and the front one needs to go up good okay so they both need to go up a little bit okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge that's the wrinkles 
and then here's the shadows so I'm going to merge again okay that's all of it and move them up this is a really small mesh so usually I work with a, a bigger size mesh for a pant but just a little bit more and I'm going to take the opacity down on it looks like it's in the right spot okay now I'm going to go all the way down here to this layer here click it get my rectangle select and just a little bit there I'm going to select it go to decor under my filters and add a bevel I want to uncheck work on copy And I'm going to look at it. That looks like it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut some off, copy it, paste it, and move it over a little bit because I don't like that beveled edge right there. It bevels the sides too and I don't like that okay now what you can do with your beveled is you can cut it off like that and we're going to copy it and then we're going to go all the way up to the top click the top layer add a new layer paste it and it pasted right over the top of the other one but it's on another layer and then we're going to drop shadow it and I'm going to drop, sh drop shadow it just to a one and it just gives you a little bit of a shadow oops and that's another thing when you do your drop shadow uncheck allow resizing okay so and if it's too dark of a shadow the drop shadows here click it and you can play with the opacity of that too you don't have to leave it really dark now um so that gave you like a little hem on the bottom of it See how it just hemmed it? If you want to hem, but it shows you how to hem it. <laughs> now you can put more you can put more wrinkles down her thigh if you wanted a few more wrinkles down her thigh. And 
probably the easiest way would, would be to grab this one up here again and so you just go and find it there it is check it duplicate it and then just get yourself some wrinkles put them under the thigh area and then duplicate it again transform and flip it and put them over on the other side and that will give you a little bit of a, a wrinkle right under the thigh, a real subtle one. Now I'm going to go to the top here, I'm going to add another layer, so I'm going to click that top layer and add a layer so I know where the layer is. But then I'm going to go way down here and click this too because I want the color. On my rectangle select, right here it says rounded corners, I'm going to check rounded corners and then I, and this isn't going to have any wrinkles on it, it's just going to be you know just whatever. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to undo it, go back up here slide back up to my other um, layer, my new layer and paste it. I'm going to put that right in the middle I might even go down, the belt's going to cover it up a little bit, so I might go down a bit on it. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go to Filters, Decor, and Add a Bevel. And I think I only want one bevel. And you can drop shadow it if you want. I don't even know if I like it like that. Hmm. Let me go to add a bevel and bring it down some. Okay, that looks a little better. Now, it's up to you if you want to drop shadow on this. And if you did, I wouldn't drop shadow it much. Maybe a one. And then not that one, but on the drop shadow, maybe take some of it down a little bit. But it's up to you. And what that does is adds a fly. So we can see our little wrinkles on the back when it comes up. And there's just a few of them right there. Not a lot. And then you have a fly on the front. And then you have to put... Now that one, I might even recolor the fly. Because when you beveled it, it lightened it. So... Back to the fly right here. Go to colors, colorize, and try to match up that color. And don't forget you're going to have a belt that's going to cover up that top part. So. And if you want the fly to come down more, you just make a bigger one. Okay? You, you know, you could come all the way down with it if you wanted to. It's up to you. So, now we can work on our belt. I'm just going to click this top layer and make sure. All right. Now on belts, you have to follow this curve. Okay? The curve of her um of of her waist. So, I have a new layer 
I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to get that really dark blue color for now. Okay, I'm going to make my paintbrush just a little bit bigger. And it's on overlay. Okay. Just going to do half right now. And then I'm just going to color it in. Go and duplicate the layer, transform, and flip it and merge it down. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, color select and select that color. And I'm going to copy and paste it. And that will make the color, it's like there's a background color, color underneath it, and we're going to work on the top color, okay? So while it's selected like this, what we're going to do is we're going to find a paint, and we're going to get some other colors in there. And we're just going to take a smaller brush and you can scribble or dot all over it, okay? Doesn't really matter. And then get another color. We can get a really light blue if we want and put some of those in there too. And even if you want some white or blacks in there, you can do that too, okay? So however many colors you want, it doesn't really matter, as long as they kind of are in the same color family. Okay, now I'm going to go to my map and I'm going to make that seamless. And that's under your filters. And then go to Blur and Gaussian Blur. And then Distorts, Mosaic. And I always do my belts pretty much the same old way every single time. I'm going to take my tile size all the way down. And you can do this. You can change color variations. You can change light direction. You can change your tile neatness. It's up to you. Okay? All of this can be changed. So that one's kind of big. <coughs> I'm not sure. Did I have this all the way down? I did. Hmm. Okay. That might be a little smaller. And what it does is it gives you kind of a leather look, sort of. But I'm still getting, it's still not small enough for me. Okay, that's a little smaller. Okay, now I'm going to bevel it. Repeat my bevel. Repeat it one more time. Okay, now I'm going to anchor it and add a drop shadow. And I want that just to be slightly, so I did it a one. Okay. So we can look at this and see how it looks. Take off our 
jacket so I get a better idea. Okay, so I'm going to go to my drop shadow and bring the opacity of it down just a little bit. Okay, now add another layer. Now you can either do this, you can do this in the rounded corners with the square, or you could, or just a square, it doesn't have to be rounded corners, or you can do the circle, and that's your ellipse tool, and add a new layer, you know, just to show you this one, you can just make yourself a circle, it doesn't have to be a circle, it can be an oval. And I'm going to color it gray and then go to my gradients and I'm going to get a silver. I'm going to go to metallic something. It's got some blues in it. So I'm going to go to metallic something and then um, see what that does because it'll look real shiny, I think. And you can, I just have this on linear. Now you can put it on linear or you can put it on um, shaped, um, dimpled, um, anything you want under here, okay? Like um, shape, dimple. See, I didn't like the way that looked. Um, when you click your gradients, under here is shape. See? there's a shape and you can click this and there's all these different shapes there's um you can make studs with your conicals um you can do a radial you don't have the radial where you m well while you're looking at it I'm going to bevel it see how many times I want it beveled. Okay, that's fine. And you could also add, if you wanted to, another drop shadow on top of this, okay? And I'm going to do a one, and I'm going to take, oops, click this, and take some of the drop shadow down just a little bit. Now, if you don't like the way that it has blues in it, you can click it, go to colorize, and just make it silver. You know what I mean? Just take your saturation down and make it all silver. Or you could pick another um, gradient. Yeah, you don't have, it just depends on what you want to do. And you don't have to use that particular one I used, metallic something, I think it was called. And you could do bilinear, I did linear. So, um, bilinear would give you um, a different, it would, it would be, it, they would be more even looking, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now, as you can see, it, it is above the mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge it down and I'm going to merge all of it down. I'm going to merge down her belt too and all the drop shadows. Okay so that should be all of it and see how it is? It's, it's all of it and then I can move the whole thing. It was um oh you don't see it? Okay. Let me know when it comes back up. Well, all I did was merge them. I merged, like I made the belt and I made a drop shadow on the belt, and then I made the belt buckle and I made a drop shadow on the belt buckle. So that's four layers, and I merged those together so that I can move this whole belt down, right? I'm going to move the whole belt down. I want to put it on the edge, you know, so that it's still on the edge. So that the buckle. Um, 
doesn't doesn't disappear at the top of the mesh okay so can you see me now can you You see my Avi butt. Okay. Well, let me stop the tape and then we'll um reboot or not reboot, but I'll I'll recall you, okay?